Hi, this is uh, What You're Looking At with another Airsoft video. Um, today, the video would be on knowing your airsoft gun. Basically, this means um, overviewing the parts of the gun, the names of them, and their functions. Okay, today, we will be doing the knowing your gun on your M4 variant. Um, the three guns I'm doing examples for is the ICS M4, the first gun you just saw, the A and K M4S systems, and finally your Stunt Studios 2 or your Aftermath M4. Okay, um, we are going to start from the back to the front of the gun, starting off with the ICS M4. The very back right here in our here is called your stock and your butt plate. Um, most butt plates on M4s are just metal. They are pretty much made of the same material of your stock. Um, you'll see that most of the time. The, uh, the reason for the butt, st uh, the, uh, the butt plate is so it makes it for easy carrying on your shoulder when you hoist it up to shoot. Okay, um, next part, which there's three different types of, is your stock. As you see here, this is a folding stock. You either push a button or a lever, which then for makes the stock either go left or right, and in some cases, both ways to be ambidextrous. Um, reasons for the folding stock is for a CQB and for a easy lo easier loading in gun cases. Um, I usually just keep it like that because I like to keep it hoisted up on my shoulder, but some of the times that I might do CQB when I start using this weapon, um, I'm going September uh, 5th, three days before my birthday. Well, I'll be in the kill house with this, so I'll definitely have the stock folded in. Okay, second type of stock is the stock you see on probably 95% of your M4s in real life and airsoft. You have your retractable stock, in this case the 6th position, 1, 2, three, four, five, and I, I guess I skipped one, but it's a six position stock. Um, it's kind of wobbly on this gun because it has a lot of wear and tear from when I used it, but overall they're good to adjust it for your arm length, um, how broad your shoulders are, and for how tall you are. Okay, now the third type of stock is the uh, non-retractable, non-foldable, and non-collapsible stock. It's a stock that's pretty much just the M16 stock. It stays there. Um, in some cases it is removable, but while it is on the gun, it does not move at all. Okay, now we are going to move to the upper and lower receiver of the gun. Starting off with the upper receiver. This part right here is the carrying handle used to carry the gun, airsoft and rail. Um, in this case it is detachable. Then right here, is in real life how you load the gun and on an airsoft gun how you get to your hop up system it's called the charging handle I'll put that back up as you see the dust cover which is this piece right here has two springs and once you pull back on the charging handle it comes down and that black piece to the left of the silver piece in the middle which the silver piece is part of the gearbox that right there is the hop up and that right there is part of the upper gearbox Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the upper receiver besides your adjustable sight, um, right there, and there's two knobs on the side to adjust it with. Okay, now to the lower receiver on the right side of your gun, 100% of the time for your M4, your magazine release, just a button right there, is going to be on the right side of your gun, above the trigger guard, and the trigger. Okay, right here, this piece, it's a piece of metal. It's kind of wobbly, but it really doesn't matter. It is your trigger guard. It is removable on this gun. Right here is your trigger. Okay, now turning the gun around, you have your fire selector switch, which is pretty much the exact one on the real M4. Then you got trademark switches uh, specified for the airsoft gun. And then right here, when you push the magazine release, is the magazine catch. If you can. If you can see that piece come up, there you go. That's the pin right there on that magazine catch is where it holds the magazine in. Okay, now to the magazine itself. Um, here's just the metal body to it. 
And then on high caps, you got your winding wheel on the bottom. If you can hear that, you see that. Um, then now to the top, you got your uh, reservoir slash magazine well, where you would store your BBs when you're winding them up for uh, use in battle. And then you got your BB feeder spring, which is the piece right here, right at my finger. It's just a little spring that um, when put in the airsoft gun and the trigger's pulled, this piece is pulled back and the BBs are fed into the gun. And the hole right here is the uh, the BB feeder, which feeds them to the BB receiver and also other part of the magazine well on the gun, which is right there. And that silver piece is part of the lower gearbox. Um, on 100% of your ICS M4s, other M4s, JG, you know, all the other mid-grade to high-grade, where your hand goes, that's where your motor's at. And as you see, you got your motor plate right there. Okay, now moving more to the front of the gun. Um, usually, on your M4, you would store your battery either inside the uh, handguard, or you would have a stock to put it in, like the non-retractable, non-collapsible stock. But in this case, I got the full metal all around. I wanted the whole gun to be metal. The only thing that's not metal is the pistol grip. Um, it's metal all around. It's one piece. A uh, screw's got to be taken out of each side for it to be taken off. Um, this is also a handrail, but I usually put a, a bipod slash foregrip on the bottom to hold it. Right here is the PEQ mock battery box. Um, it holds the battery, as you see, the connector's out. But in real life, it's really uh, a laser from those two holes. Okay, now moving up, you got your sling swivel right here. And then on your other guns, like your M1 Grand, more your uh, World War II guns, they would be attached right here, and those would be called your stacking swivel. Okay, and then the piece right here, I know people probably ask about, because they probably don't know what it is. That is your uh, bayonet mount. If you wait one second, I'll go get the bayonet real quick, and I'll... Okay, as I was saying, bayonet, um, all you do, you take your, uh, your barrel cover off, your safety barrel, or your safety muzzle, whatever you'd like to call it. You get the circle from your bayonet, slide it over the barrel, and there's a clamp right here that you push, and all you do is line it up. Um, it's more for looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, probably looks better on an M16 though. But it still looks really good. I have had see people say they like it. Uh, if you want to, you can comment on that. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for this airsoft gun. Except for the part K. Yeah, outer barrel right here, all metal. And then inside there, you see that little, I guess, that little bronze piece or whatever you want to call it. That is your inner barrel. Okay, um, that's all. That's it. All I got time for today. Um, this is what you're looking at. Make sure you subscribe, you comment, you rate. Guns I used in the video. Stunt Studios 2, Aftermath M4, A and K M4S systems, and the ICS M4 with the folding stock. Okay, this is what you're looking at out. Don't forget to subscribe and you comment and you rate and request.